Leo Rogers Memorial Library officially opened in December of 1969. One of the very first exhibits to open was an African art exhibit which took place in late January of 1970 and was located in the library's gallery on the plaza level. The exhibit was part of a two-month long program developed by the Human Relations Commission called Africa in Black and White America. In the fall of that same year, the Human Relations Commission then organized the Columbus Black Arts Festival. It lasted for about six weeks with all but one event taking place at the Cleo Rogers Memorial Library. My project revisits these inaugural and transformative exhibits through a series of engaging, interactive, and programmable threshold slash moments that allow visitors to explore their historical significance to our present and future realities. The four threshold slash moments are inspired by news clippings from the library's archives. The African Art Exhibit is an unintended acknowledgement and celebration of the influence African sculpture had on modern art and architecture. In addition, many of the sculptures in this exhibit were on loan from Indiana University's Eskenazi Museum of Art. The news clippings are abstracted into silhouettes, which are then developed into a series of pop-up installations that encourage a variety of engagements with the visitors to the plaza. The viewing platform provides a space to gather, rest, and people watch. AR markers embedded in the platform surface activate sculptures from this 1970 exhibit and connect them to relevant examples of contemporary art. Marie Evans, a native of Toledo, Ohio, has become known as a Hoosier poet and television personality. The topic of her discussion Thursday is poetry and black experience. She is producer and director of The Black Experience, a weekly program carried on WTTV Channel 4 in Indianapolis. The silhouette for Marie Evans is inspired by several lines from her poem, I Am a Black Woman. The pop-up installation features intimate seating allows for an audio-visual interactive experience where one can view archival footage, listen to historic audio, as well as engage with relevant texts from contemporary writers. Wendell T. Brooks, a postgraduate student at Indiana University and a native of Aliceville, Alabama, will be hanging 68 of his prints in the basement of the library just south of the children's room. The architectural suggestiveness of Brooks and Taglio print compositions are very compelling and provide a fascinating point of reference. This silhouette derives from his prints, animistic business, and enunciation of soul. A row of benches embedded with AR markers provides a virtual gallery experience, allowing visitors to connect with the work of Wendell T. Brooks. Bleacher-like seating extend from the perspective lines of the silhouette into a platform for small performances. Felix Eboigbe, a native of Nigeria whose works are on exhibit at Cleo Rogers Memorial Library, carves a wood sculpture of a female figure at the library's artist in residence workshop. Mr. Eboigbe, who is on an art fellowship at Indiana University, is visiting Columbus this week and participating with a dozen other artists in the workshop. Felix served as an artist in residence and teacher at Indiana University for over a decade. He cites Henry Moore as an influence, yet prefers the medium of wood. A pop-up installation provides an informal threshold and entry into the plaza, also extending gallery walls embedded with AR markers, pre-activated with historical and relevant present-day content. The four thresholds slash moments are situated in the plaza as a series of points of discovery. The installations are arranged to provide an indirect procession through and around the plaza. Connected by sight lines to each other, the library, and the First Christian Church. This proposal predates a site visit which will determine final placement. The installations allow for multiple forms of visitor engagement and interactivity.
This includes augmenting the physical experience with the virtual interactive one. AR markers or augmented reality markers are a series of static images that act as visual cues that trigger the display of virtual information that can be audio, text, video, or even animated 3D sculpture and are activated by scanning the AR marker with one smartphone via an AR app that can be configured with content in advance. The installation is further enhanced by coordinating programmable events organized with the library, the community, and upcoming festivals such as the 2021 Ethnic Expo. to rescue and exhume this exhibit from the archives of the library. How can exhuming these exhibits be constructive and generative, engaging with the contemporary audience? What type of programming that occurs within and without the library can installations support, extend, and augment?